ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme Video for Monday, the 4th of February. And we are getting set for a dynamic storm that's due in here tomorrow night. And that will be the focus of this discussion. Let's peek out the window some sky cam shots at midday today. How about that? A little bit of sunshine beginning to peek through the sky cam down in Chilton County. That's the view from Clanton, and you can see a few little spots of blue sky up there. And I do think that many folks might see a little sun today, but probably not much. But the warm front is clearly north of us now. Demopolis, the one thing about that image is the uh, fact that the river is really running high. First time in a long time we've seen that, and more rain will fall to make those river levels go up even more in coming days. And from Selma, that is the Alabama River, is seen from uh, downtown Selma. That's the historic Edmund Pettus Bridge. And the sky there is mostly cloudy. Well, there's our big storm off to the west, cold trough there with mountain snow in the Rockies. The subtropical jet stream cutting across eastern Texas into Alabama. We note some convection developing over Louisiana. The guys at uh, Norman put out a mesoscale discussion on that, and uh, no severe weather is really expected in, in terms of a widespread event there. Maybe some hail with those storms, but the big show is still a good 24 to 36 hours away. Around here, we've got that big massive rain over Tennessee. That's in advance of that northward moving warm front that's up on the Alabama-Tennessee border. But very little happening down here, and I really think that most of uh, this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow will be dry. There's a look at the observations across the Deep South. You can see those dew points in the low 60s up to the Tennessee state line, you cross that boundary, and it's cold and wet up there in Knoxville. They've got a dew point of 44 with a temperature of 46, so uh, pretty easy to pick out that warm front. But we are definitely in the warm sector, and we will stay there. Here's the convective outlook for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. A slight risk from the Texas Hill Country up through uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Little Rock up to Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, some of the storms in there could produce gusty winds and hail, but the big story is tomorrow. There's your new Day 2 convective outlook. We have a large, moderate risk over much of Mississippi, Arkansas, northeast Louisiana, the western half of Tennessee and Kentucky, up into southern parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. And surrounding that, a slight risk that covers all of Alabama. The probabilities are amazingly high here, and uh, Jack Hales wrote that uh, discussion and made this graphic and he's a good one, uh, that is basically suggesting that there is a 45% probability of severe weather within 25 miles of any given point in that region. And that's, uh, that's pretty high. In fact, uh, it might be a deal where they upgrade part of that to a high risk tomorrow. But I think the key to understand for us, almost all of that during the day will be west of Alabama, places like Memphis, and Little Rock in Greenville, Mississippi. That's your daytime event. It will, it will be uh, tomorrow night before that gets in here. And then on Wednesday, the severe weather risk is uh, off to the east, roughly from uh, Panama City and Tallahassee and Jacksonville up to Chesapeake Bay. Good news, rain. We'll take that. Uh, this is suggesting rainfall amounts here of maybe one to two inches, and we'll Welcome that, as we have welcomed all of the events of the past week. Well, let's look at the model output. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Tuesday. There's your big trough moving into western Texas at the surface. The primary surface low is, is developing in the general area of Texarkana or McAllister there. We'll go to Tuesday night at midnight. The surface low moves up to uh, the Ohio River between uh, Louisville and Indianapolis with your trailing band of, of storms. And the one clear message in modeling here is that they're slowing it down. So I really think we'll be dry during the day tomorrow. The storms come in here tomorrow night, maybe even late tomorrow night. So what about the severe weather parameters? Let's look. This is the uh, NAM showing the uh, surface-based CAPE at 3 a.m. Wednesday I'm sorry, I take that back. 9 p.m. Tuesday night. I was looking at the wrong number here. That's 03Z. This is 9 o'clock Tuesday night, tomorrow night. And uh, this is suggesting uh, a surface-based cape of uh, almost 1,000 joules over West Alabama near Tuscaloosa with the higher values back off to the west over Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana. And certainly when you get a cape of 1,000 joules this time of the year, that would be plenty sufficient for severe weather. 
I still think it's going to be a, you know, a close call here. If this stuff rolls in after midnight, those numbers will drop like a rock, and more than likely it's not going to be that big of a deal. But if we do get those storms before midnight over there in West Alabama, they could be an issue. And, and can they rotate? The answer is yes. This is your helicity, and we've known that all along. The, the big issue is the instability, that first graphic we showed you. Uh, this is the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity, valid at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow night. And the values there are in excess of 400 over northwest Alabama. Uh, rotating up drafts, you bet. The energy helicity index is peaking around 2 over west Alabama. That is very significant. And all of this is just suggesting, yeah, all the parameters are there for severe weather. The synoptic scale, we know that. The big question, the instability and the timing. But it sure looks like the main window is going to be 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., 6 p.m. tomorrow night through 6 a.m. Wednesday. And we'll really have to watch for tornadic storms over that northwestern part of the state, places like Tuscaloosa, Haleyville, Hamilton, and Muscle Shoals. And then on the Wednesday, the uh, main band begins to move out. But again, we're still going to have rain Wednesday morning. And I think what's going to happen, we're going to see uh, rain Wednesday morning, maybe some thunder with temperatures in the 50s, then falling into the 40s during the day. And then Thursday, look at this. Here comes the next trough rotating through here, but the moisture's gone. So uh, nothing with that. That will just bring a reinforcing shot of cooler air on Friday. So the weather Thursday and Friday at this point looking cool and dry. There's Saturday starting off the weekend, the same deal. That's probably 50s during the day, 30s at night, exactly where we should be this time of the year. And Sunday, a pretty cold high coming down uh, toward Chicago there. That's a 1,040 millibar high. So Sunday, again, I think 50s during the day, 30s at night. Quickly, some trolling here. We'll go out a couple of more days. This is the uh, 12th of February. Trough rotating through. That would suggest our next rain event. And at the end of the forecast period on the 20th, kind of a zonal flow, uh, separate systems in the northern and southern branch there. And again, that would suggest some rain, but certainly no skill at a specific forecast this far in advance. The pattern still looks relatively active, and we see no sign of any major Arctic intrusion here for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.